And this last week, my son cleaned up our camper for us. Almost looks like a new one. If I could get some little new ribbons for here, decals, they would look almost new. But, uh, not bad looking for an older camper. We got somebody that's after us trying to buy it. And, uh, we may sell it, but with the wife retiring, we might be able to use that a little more than we do now. My son also did this little walkway bridge across here. And the reason you see it cracked in the place is uh, we had a big reunion one year and somebody drove his truck down this ditch and across this and it wasn't designed to hold up a truck. And he split it. That's why you can see I had a patch job underneath it because it was cracked there and there and then he backed up. So that's why there's so many screws in one place. Another part. These steps that lead into the side room, to the mud room on our cottage. He has power washed those. And it's supposed to be dry for the next four or five days. And that's where we had a mat laying and it's discolored that part. But after we seal it and put it back on there, the mat will go over it and cover that mark. I got up all the pine tags and two big bags on the back of my tr truck to ride and mower. And I carried all this stuff to the landfill. Because the landfill where we live, they recycle all this. But man, you would think it hadn't even been done. And there's still a lot more to fall. It'll, we have to get this much up like four times a year, sometimes five. I've got pictures of this ground where you can't even see the grass. They were so thick. And we used to rake this stuff up. And I can do this whole property right here and all the way past that boat in about 40 minutes with those big bags. My son's a power washer and he's finished the deck. We haven't put the uh, sealer pre preservative on it yet, but it sure looks a lot better than it did. Hopefully you can see that heron sitting by that post on that jetty just past the steps. And see all the seagulls? They've been coming in here for hundreds of years. This is uh, getting into the rock fishing season in the saltwater tidal rivers in the Chesapeake Bay. And they come in here every year. And the reason they're on that pier and there's none on that pier up there and if I scan around here to this one, there's no seagulls on that pier. It's because of the white cones on top of the pilings that hold the pier up. And see the one up there has the white cones on it. You just attach them. And the first birds come into a pier like that and land on the pilings. And then the rest of the birds come in and sit on your deck. And I have seen that deck right there on that pier with four times that many birds. I mean completely all the way up to the shore. And if they sit there all day long, every day, you can imagine what it looks like after a while. It turns white from just them going to the bathroom. It can be quite nasty.